This video will show you how to set up um, grade passback uh, to IC from Canvas. So the first thing that we have really three parts that we're going to look at. The first part is um, preventing students from seeing their grade totals in Canvas. They can still see individual assignment grades, but even if you have everything in Canvas, the way that it calculates and rounds is a little different than IC, so we don't want to have a discrepancy there. So to be able to, um, to take them that piece away from them, you're going to go to settings for each of your courses, and once you're in settings, then you're going to scroll down all the way to the bottom where it says more options. We're going to click on more options, and when it does that, um, down here it says hide totals in grade student grade summary. They still can click on grades. They can still see individual assignments. It's just not going to calculate their final grade. So we don't, if we're passing back, we don't want them to necessarily see that. So we're going to click on that and just update course details. So that's the first step. Um, you need to make sure that they can't see the grade totals to prevent discrepancies. The second step is we want to take a look at um, what your assignments are that you have set up to pass back. So when we go to assignments, uh, you're going, if they have to have a due date, if they don't have a due date, it won't pass back. So it does need to have a due date. And then this little guy here under assignments, or if you click on quizzes, it's there too. Um, when you click this little box, it will turn it, um, Let's go to one that it even gives me an error message when I don't have a due date. So this one has a due date. So I'm going to click the little uh, green check, and that turns it on. Now, we want those assignments turned on as long as we want them passing back. So you can really say a, a student goes in and re, retakes something or submits something late, and you grade it in Canvas. All of those changes need to be made in Canvas if it's still passing back. You don't want to go to IC and make changes in IC, it will cause an error or just be overwritten um, by the score that is being passed back. At any point, you can turn it off to no longer have it pass back. It will pass back at night, um, every night, and it will also, you can push grades immediately. So by turning this on, I'm saying that I want to pass this, this particular assignment back. If I were to... Um, Let's say that now term one is over and I'm into term two. You probably are going to want to turn these things off for your assignments in term one. So then that way you don't have students making up stuff that's changing their in progress grade after you've posted. Um, you can hand enter those into IC if you've had students that make changes. They can still do these things on Canvas. But if you, and if you have it turned off like this one's turned off, it's not going to pass things back, even if they have maybe made up assignments and things like that. It's not changing your in-progress grade um, and having that be different than your posted grade. So that's how we're going to turn it on. You can also, um, within the assignment, uh, this just happens to be a discussion, but within any assignment or quiz, there is also a way that you can turn that on um, it'll say right here, include in assignment grades. So you can also check there. I think it's easier just to look at the list. So that's, that is the, the first step is preventing them from seeing their grade totals. The second step is, um, is knowing which ones you're going to pass back. The next thing that we want to do is we want to go down to grade sync. And when we go to grade sync, this is the like the hub of, of where this all happens. So we're going to go to sync at the top. We're going to check um, this box and hit save. And then we also are going to hit submit. Submit will push grades immediately, everything that is checked. The sync will um, just sync the grades that have changed um, or maybe it's new assignments. That does it overnight where this particular one um, does or pushes it immediately. So that's how we get it to set up. And now once we have that, once we hit save and we hit submit, those will, that will, that will force it, submitting will force it to run immediately, which when you're first setting it up, you want to have something that you're passing back so that you can see what that looks like.
So that's really all the setup that you have on Canvas's side. And we're going to take a look at this reporting tab to show you what it looks like um, when it is in process. So here's an example of under the reporting. So we first were at sync where we have scheduled the daily sync and we hit save. When we hit submit, this little box here will pop up and we want to continue. Now, depending on how many grades are pushing through will depend on how long it takes for that to show up. But when we go to reporting, this is evidence of all the different grades that have been um, sent through. And we should see one here. Uh, looks like one went through this morning. Let's refresh it a little bit. You can see, you should be able to see, here's the one that we just uh, requested to go over. If you have any errors, they will show here. Um, so now we're going to flip over to your Infinite Campus tab. And then we'll show you that's really it. You can push it immediately or you can have it run nightly. These were nightly runs. You can tell at 1 a.m., 2 a.m. And then this is the one that we pushed. So now we're going to flip over to Infinite Campus and take a look at that. Once it comes through, you'll have this little box up here that says uncategorized assignments. So we're going to, this is where you have to tell um, Infinite Campus which category it goes into. You're only going to do this once, so maybe a student turns in something late. Once you've categorized it, it'll automatically update it. You don't have to um, redo this. So you can do it for all of them. So I want that to just be term grade for each of them. Oh, I guess I need to select the assignments here. And then I'm going to do each one. And this one is going to be a quiz. This one's going to be an assignment. This one's going to be a quiz. And this one's going to be a test or project. So you can do them individually or you can do them all at once. We're going to hit save. And then notice that any it, when you sync, it'll overwrite what you had in. So that's one thing that that's a way that you can easily tell which ones have come in from Canvas. Uh, and you notice here are the, the four different assignments that um, typically it's not going to show up until you've graded something. but um, you can definitely tell that the point zero are things that came from um, Canvas. That's pretty much all you got to do. If a student updates something in Canvas, it'll automatically come through and put it in the right spot. So maybe if the student did the assignment today, tomorrow, when we come in, it should be um, have the new score.